Hello and welcome, Neil Ossie here from Tights TV. We've got a couple of guests on today. We're going to be talking about the uh, the win that we had and seeing if we can carry on his unbeaten run. Uh, so, Andy, pleased to have you on, and Charlie Hi, as well, a new guest Hi, on a preview after match thoughts. So, I'll come to you first, Charlie. Um, Adam Phillips has got uh, another goal. He's, he's an Africa game scoring on trot. What do you reckon to that one, mate? Yeah, I mean, it's... It's good. Um, I think a lot of fans were, were a bit against him in the first couple of games. Um, but as as a lot of us do, we as soon as they start scoring, we're all straight back out wagging and we're all <laughs> thinking, you know, I think it's what we need. It's I think it's what he needed as well. And mm. I think it's, it's a good addition to the squad. It's just trying to embed him in and keep him up with rate that he's at. Yeah. Just going on that from what Charlie was saying there, and uh, you know, a good addition to the squad is his fan is uh, you know his feet kind of thing, a bit of confidence mm -hmm. in it. Um, yeah. you know, we've not kind of forgot, but Alt talk were about missing Luke Thomas, and now we've got like Wolf and Thomas out. It's keeping Benson on bench, so again, it's competition for places, isn't it, Andy? Yeah, uh, which can only be a good thing. Um, I like him. I think he's, uh, you know, I think he was going to be all right once he gets. Uh, uh, settled. I, I still don't think we see the best on him. Uh, I think there's still uh, more to come from him. Honestly, do. Um, but yeah, please, what lad is uh, is putting a shift in every time, and um, obviously a goal scorer as well as uh, you know as it's proven. So yeah, um, please for him. Uh, honestly, am. So just like going from that, uh, Charlie, what Andy was saying, there, you know, goal scorer, and what please. For me to in in a in a way we're seeing three different goal scorers as well. A bit uncon a bit concerning that want as it you know as attackers, but mm -hmm. nice to see the rest of the team uh, chipping in with goals as well, mate. Yeah, I mean for me, I think that that's what we're missing. We're missing a prolific. Uh, can't say the word. Yeah, Go on. Um, a poach, yeah. you say. <laughs> a poach, yeah. <laughs> we, we are missing a goal scorer. And I think for me yesterday, with way that we started first twenty minutes, if we'd have had that goal scorer, we you know. It, he could have took two or three of them chances. Mm. But in the same way, it's good that we have got players chipping in. So you're not just relying on your likes of Cole. I mean, Aitchinson, he needs to get another couple of goals for me. Mm. Um, Norwood, again, is a bit hit and miss, but what he does off football as well he is good. You know, it's again, we're, we're working with limited strike force. And mm. I think. Yesterday, the perfect striker that could have been brought on, and it's just my opinion, I think Jalo, because their, yeah. their defender, who are 38, I believe he is, mm -hmm. and I think a young lad running at him like that, especially with conditions, I think it would have, it, it have gave him a, a bit of an hard time for the last 20, 25 minutes. Yeah, good points on that, Charlie. We just on about that, uh, just off air, me and Andy a bit earlier. Yeah. It's like formation. I think we've got like now. Nah, I'm liking this three-five-two rather than this three, you mm -hmm. know, four-three and all that kind of stuff. I think this two is suiting, and we were on a we just on about conditions. And I, I get where you're coming from. I think Andy, we missed a trick there with Jallo, a bit tricky because when he come on, it looked lively, and they were causing. But they were getting fouled and they didn't like it. I mean, turning, dropping his shoulder and taking it to him, did he, Jallo? Yeah, he did, yeah, did well when he came on. Um, and yeah, um, I agree. Um, we, uh, that Lewinton, who is nearly 40 now, yeah, I think uh, he would have had his hands full with Jallo without putting it out. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, it's quite rightly said as well. Uh, uh, we, we do need. Um, well, I think I've always said we, I think we need at least another two strikers in. If I'm honest, mm -hmm. just to cover mm -hmm. uh, suspensions, injuries, and just options as well. Um, so yeah, we, we, we do need to back Duff in January to to get them. Um, but yeah, going back to back to that, yeah, I think uh, Jello would have uh, probably um, get him a good game at, at back with that Lewington, um, but. You know, uh, all credit to that defender for MK Dons. You know, he, again, you know, his experience and he didn't look like a 38 year old, really, mm -hmm. did he? Um, so, you know, but uh, yeah, it, it, like we said off air as well, I think the only thing more concerning is that, yeah, um, it, the one striker all got on score sheet, but then again, it's always good to see 
goals coming from different parts of the team. So, you know, um, it, it, that's always a good thing, really. Something to be addressed in January transfer window, which we know is going to be coming up yeah. in the next month or two. So you'd, you'd like to think for certain players or player, what's going to be identified for that. What was pleasing for me as well is that we are creating chances. I think it's best I've seen Barnsley play at Oakwell for quite some time. And even Duff said that mm-hmm. is that it what we were creating. And yeah, a bit more clinical up front. We I think we've all like agree on that, but we're missing that kind of goal poacher, a bit more prolific and you know, chances what we could have, especially in tricky conditions and all. But again, when I when I've been looking, it's I mean for, for the man of the match, me yesterday, I gave it personally to Luca. Luca Connell, I think is what we're going where we're doing. I know Williams and Kane. And for you, Charlie, I mean, we, I was sat in Pontiend and when, when he got announced that Williams got it, and I wasn't disappointed. I'm thinking, yeah, good shout because of what he'd done. And I said, Luca Connell, but someone outside of me said, well, I'd have given it Kane because he's assisted and has scored a goal. So, Charlie, it, it, it was pleasing to see the players via what you were struggling to find for man at a match in a positive way, thinking we're all in with a shout, weren't we? Yeah, I mean, for me, it's yesterday, I do believe it was his best home performance at season. I, mm. That For me, that sums it up. Mm. Everybody put a shift in. I'd have, I, I, obviously, my missus to the season ticket holder as well, and I said, I says, for me, Luke O'Connell's man at match. Mm. That's just my opinion. I mean, he's mm. got an head on him. He runs game, taking ball forward, coming back defending. That's not taking credit away from anybody else, such as your Williams, your mm-hmm. Canes, etc. But he's a young lad as well. I think he, he, he's good potential. And, you know, it's it's good that we've, we're in this predicament of who's man at match instead of saying, in, in a good way, instead of saying, right, who are we going to have to try and <laughs> scrape today to be man at match because, the, yeah. you know, and it, it's good. It's it, it's a good thing to have and a good predicament to be in. Yeah. It is, it is a good predicament to be in. And, and with games coming up, I mean, this is his uh, last league game until 2nd of December against Peterborough. So now we've got a couple of cup games coming up, Andy. Mm. Uh, Port Vale away, Pete's, Pete's Trophy. And then we've got Crew coming up on Saturday in FA Cup. So, yeah. again, I think there'll be a few changes for the Papa John's. FA yeah. Cup, I don't think there'll be that many. I think they'll more or less put a, a stronger side out like it did Bolton. But, again... Is it something that you you want to be winning these kind of games regardless for, don't you, Andy, to keep that momentum, that, you know, bit of confidence going and self-belief in team? Well, yeah, I've I've always thought that, especially, um, you know, a, a club like us as well. Um, you, you know, we're not like a, a big club where we can say, you know, we're not bothered about a cup run because the club will be uh, financially anyway and winning breeds winning. End it there, um, but yeah, I, I, there will be some changes um, at Port Vale. Um, probably fringe players coming in. Um, pro- I was going to say Moon, but he won't even not bench yesterday, was he? Uh, Being back goes to short competition, but since side at minute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, th- there will be some changes. I think uh, Jallo will start as well at Port Vale, um, possibly. Um, might see young Dyer uh, getting in the squad again as well. Um, but yeah, um, I think there'll be probably a few changes as well for FA Cup game. Um, not as many. Um, probably goalkeeper. Um, well, same for both cup games, I would think. Um, yeah. Probably Walton will start. Um, but yeah, I know league's most important thing, and then after league for me. Is FA Cup, um, and yeah. try and get a get into third round and get um you know a, a bigger team back at all. Well, that's that's what it's all about, isn't it? Money and yeah. d- just going on, but with that Charlie, I mean, we're going back to uh, you know the you know I think it what paints trophies as it was then, um, and we're on about cup runs and stuff like that. Nice to see a, a legend in his own right, Adam. Well, Daniel Nardiello, but more importantly. Uh, no disrespect to Daniel, if you're watching, but Adam Hamill uh, on bench, you know, create, recreating the goal that uh, but we're at Wembley, you know, what what a what a reception he got and rightly rightly deserved, Charlie. 
Yeah, I mean, it, it were a good reception. Um, not quite as quick as what I used to be. It were a little no. bit slower. But I, think, I, think, I think that might be a bit a bit of conditions at play. I don't, I don't know if it was short stood or a long stood on that one, mate. <laughs> yeah, no, me either. But um, I mean, it were it were good to to see him have reception that he got. Yeah. Um, it's a shame, and it it's a shame that we've not got that type of player in the squad at minute because mm. again. That's what we need, but I mean, as he said, he didn't get a chance to obviously say his goodbyes, and yeah. it's a shame there weren't another couple of thousand in there to mm. obviously to see it and to to give him send off that he deserved. But for me, I'd love to have him back at club, whether that's as a as a coach, um, a scout, whatever it might be. Because I, I think I think he's he's a good type of person to have in club, and again. Hopefully, yeah. If offers right, or if we can give him some, give him it. It's you know, it's it, it's a good thing to have. He knows what our football club's about, mm. and we, we we know how to work with. Him. So yeah, it was it was good to see in a, a class touch. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Andy, just echoing what Charles would be a you know legend, class you know class player, a send off. Like I said, shame for a few a few uh, more thousand won't be, but. Yeah, I, I'm going to ask you a question, but I think I know what your answer is going to be. You'd have him back at club, surely, in some capacity, wouldn't you? Feel good factor for Barnsley. He loves club, definitely, doesn't he? Definitely, definitely, yeah. Um, his experience, got knowledge um, to meet some old brainer. Um, it had worked wonders with humans coming through. Um, I'm sure there's um, hints and tips and coaching methods that he's picked up through his career that he can pass on. Um, and it can only be good for club, um, not not just for players, but just to give that little bit of lift as well. Um, that club needs, um, you know, through fan base uh, mm. as well, uh, try and connect more fans with owners as well. You know, on that side of things, mm. uh, it's no brainer uh, for me. Um, I'd offer him a job, me to mama, honestly would. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that that. Uh, when he trying to recreate that goal, me and Maddie were saying it was like uh, an episode from fantasy football. <laughs> the flames. It was brilliant, that. Enjoyed Good, that. wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Unexpected and all. I didn't think you were expecting yeah. it to send because when Jason got out at Mice, there's a bit of a surprise for you. Recreate <laughs> it. And I'm thinking, he's making it hard for his English taking ball near the halfway line. Yeah, we're going, what are we going to do for recreation you know, in shows? But it was great to see, and I think clubs trying their yeah. best as well because. A couple of weeks ago, we had uh, Daniel Standle and all, and I think they're wanting that connection back and uh, fair play yeah. to him for tracking him down. And fair play for such as Stendhal and Nadia Yellow and uh, Adam Amel te- taking their own time out to come, to, you know, come to a uh, yeah. come to Oakwell. Um, Na- Nadia Yellow uh, as, as well, uh, good mm. to see him back. Um, yeah. Yeah. I, I always rated him, um, brilliant striker. Um, yeah, uh, we're now, huh? yeah. Yeah, I, I wish you were younger. But yeah, definitely pop in it. <laughs> uh, Andy and Charlie, it's been it's been a pleasure having you on. Ever uh, thoughts and a bit of a chat about you know no some legends coming back to club. Uh, so people, please like, subscribe, and share. Have your comments in you know thoughts and comments in below, especially about you know Adam Amel's seeing him back on pitch, not in obviously full red kit like, but you know you never know. Some might be one of these days, might be having another Amel on pitch. But, uh, yeah, let us know your thoughts below. Your man at match as well. Um, I've gone, well, I went for Luca Connell, as did Charlie. Andy, who were yours? Well, before they announced it, I sent to Mandy at side of me, um, Jordan Williams. Um, but, yeah, the, the war, well, I think most of the team could have got it, to be honest. But uh, yeah. I thought I thought Williams played really, really well. Um, and goal, I was pleased for him because I thought his performance deserved a goal. But yeah, Connell, uh, very, very close second. Um, excellent player that we've got there. A lot of positive coming out of that game against uh, yeah. an MK Dons. People say it's a poor MK Dons, but at the end of the day, we've just got to do our job mm. in difficult conditions for both sides. And we got a win. Not a clean sheet this time, but we at least saw a legend at half time. Um, all being well, it's inspired, you know, rest of the team and others. Uh, Andy and Charlie, thanks for joining me. One thing left to say, you Reds.
Thank <laughs> you.